Gathering 13 2022 in Las Vegas with ProTech and Matt. How you doing, buddy? How's it going? Good, brother. Good. Thanks for stopping by the booth. Well, no. Well, thanks for being here. And sure. Yeah, although I do understand that uh, from this guy over here, you guys are uh, sweat shopping at the last couple of weeks, and he's keeping you off the streets. He's doing his best. Yeah. Uh, here in Vegas, it's. Uh, I, as I understand it, it's either grind knives or be on the streets. Yes, that, sir. You know, you get the 30 minute gruel break and uh, keep sweating. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, good deal. So what do we have? We've got a couple of show sure. knives. So we have a few show knives. You know, we had a few more as well, but in a knife show fashion, a lot of them have sold out. Yeah. You know, so we have two of the ones here that we had for the show. One being very fitting for the G13 with their logo. It's on an Emerson. So, you know, in classic Emerson fashion, you have the chisel tonto. Flat on the other side as well. And that knife is going for? This one's going for 200 show price. 200 even show price. Yes, sir. Okay. We try to have one that has, you know, very billboardy, you know, shows the entire logo of it. Right. The other one that's kind of my favorite is the ATCF project we did. So ATCF is a collaboration with Bob Trevola. This one's a little special for the USN show. We used fat carbon jungle wear. It's a really dynamic carbon fiber pattern. It's kind of a ceramic-y in look where it changes the light, especially out in the sunlight. Yeah. The blade is DLC Magna Cut and the milled pocket ti uh, titanium pocket clip. And show price for that one? Uh, 450 sir. 450 Now we had a Damascus version of that as well. We did, yeah. So we yeah. had a Damascus version as well. It had a Chad Nick with ladder pattern Damascus. Same frame, same inlay. Right. Those sold in the first 20 minutes. Quite we brought... stunning. Well, you were part, of, that was part of that whole uh, mad rush from the door that we uh, yes, got sir. on video yesterday. The sprinters. Yeah, the sprinters. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Did you get any body checks from that where they couldn't quite slow down enough <laughs> at the table? <laughs> yeah, we, we had our hands out pushing back. There you go. Okay. A few other gems we have, not show specific, but just a few customs and special projects. The Emerson Operator, the Operator series being a sterile knife, no markings, and a little tritium button. The Operator is a very classic piece for that Operator series. The Malibu Operator is a new one for us as well. It actually won the overall knife of the year. Uh, that was at the Blade Show Atlanta. So that's a popular one as well. Malibu is a button lock clipper, 20 CV blade. Super fidgety, super EDC friendly, and then in that operator treatment with the tritium button. Kind of moving on to more custom stuff. A bronze Malibu, so aluminum bronze with a textured uh, stipple pattern as well. A mosaic pin, uh, pin button. The blade's actually ground by Mike Erie. He's a hand, uh, a hand custom maker for us. He lives out in Colorado. His booth is actually two tables over, so you can go visit him after. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he mirror polishes his blade by hand. Kind of a crazy little custom project we've got going on here. Very nice. Show price on Show that. price is 680 Okay. And let's back up just a bit, and sure. what are our, our prices on these two? So this one here, I believe, is 240 and then 320 here. Okay, very good. Moving back over to the custom. Sure, more custom stuff as well. Kind of stepping up from the aluminum into the titanium mm -hmm. realm. You have hand polished and finished titanium frames, anodized blue, white pearl inlays, and then the blade is Vegas Forge Damascus. Their pattern is a spirograph. It's a very condensed little pattern, which is perfect for a small knife like this. And stunning, absolutely stunning. It's, we're trying to get it on video, but sure. difficult to do. It's, it's just so stunning. Yeah, the anodized has a little bit of an iridescence to it. Even the back is quite stunning as well. The pocket clip is uh, milled out of a single block of titanium. The pocket clip alone, just to mill it, takes about 40 minutes. That's on top of then having to hand finish it, anodize it, and then install the pocket clip as well. Yeah, yeah. It is a really cool project for us. It takes all the capabilities of our inside shop. If you wanted to step a, a step further past this... Show price on that one. Uh, this one here is 960, 980. Okay. This one is the next jump up. This is a full ultimate custom level product. So you're taking that same titanium frame, sending it to Bruchaw where he hand engraves the entire product. The inlay, instead of being white pearl, is black lit mother of pearl. Same spirograph Damascus plate from Vegas Forge. If you flip it on the other side as well. Also engraved, the screw is engraved. Even the inside of the pocket screw, you can see it's been hand engraved as well. So we'll do every single detail on this uh, on this type of piece. Amazing. Show price on this blade. Uh, 2K. And I like how you just tossed out. 2K. Okay. Yeah. Well, we can go a step further than that. Yeah. And uh, the granddaddy of the show is going to be the ATCF Bob Trivola collaboration custom piece. So this is a Chad Nichols Ladder Damascus stainless blade. 
frame is 416 stainless steel, Dulux leafy scroll pattern work. Who does your scroll work on this? This is Bruce Shaw as well. Okay. 18 karat gold inlays, and that's where you see the roses. The uh, inlay overlay is the uh, bark mastodon mm -hmm. from a 27 million year old uh, mammoth. Little did he or she know where the bones would be. <laughs> yes, sir. Spine has been engraved as well. And the backside might be my favorite. Good shot at the 18 karat gold roses. The hand engraving on the 416 stainless. Even the inside of this frame has been uh, machined as well. Absolutely stunning. Price this piece on this goes plate. for uh, 5200 This is the show price. 5200 Normally, now after show price, what would that go for? Probably will hold around that price. The highest you probably see it sell for might be around 6500 Okay. That's very good. Well, Matt, obviously we have another, uh, several other standard blades that can sure. be seen on the website. Absolute pleasure to talk to you, pleasure brother. To talk to you as well. Thank you very much Thank for the uh, introduction and and you know ask for an extra sweat break every now and then. You know I know I know I know Dave is incorporating that as part of the health plan right. and, and you know the recreational plan. So skinny. It really gives <laughs> yeah. you no breaks these days. I have to. I'll have to come and work there for a while, brother. <laughs> a little too much on me. It's a pleasure. Thanks, Take care. Guys. Travel safe.